Hello friends, this is tutorial number 19 in this Scala programming language tutorial. In this tutorial, from this tutorial we will start to talk about functional programming in Scala. And first we will talk about procedure. Uh, it is similar, it is similar uh, like function, of course we will learn about function. But uh, procedure procedure doesn't return any value if we compare it with uh, with uh, java uh, there we we used void when we want uh, void method when we want to print something and here uh, and here it will be it will be procedure that uh, returns unit but unit is not unit is not a value it we, we just use it when we want to print something and uh, i will show you one example a couple of them uh, let's create one procedure definition it can be addition and we will have two variables variable a and uh, this will be a local variables uh, local variables uh, we we are using them inside a procedure or or function in this case it will be procedure b will be an integer and these two uh, these two variables we can use just just inside this uh, this procedure we can use we cannot use them outside and it will be equals and now we can inside these curly braces we will define we will use print line we will print and it will be and uh, we will type a text the result the result is and it will be a plus b okay I, this will be addition of two numbers but it will just return this uh, this unit this is a new unit this is a text it will not uh, this uh, addition of two numbers will not be uh, integer it uh, this addition uh, will serve us only for printing and now this is our procedure and now we will need first we will need variable input we will use a scanner equals to new scanner system dot in and we need to import it from java library and now we will enter two variables print line enter numbers x and y And now we will create these two variables. These are global variables that we use in the application. Equals to input dot next integer. And also we will define variable y equals to input dot next integer and now what we will do now we can use we can use this our these global variables and inside of this procedure because now if we these are only a uh, 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 local variables if we now want to print line for example variable a 
it will not be possible because this is not found this uh, this a or b are just used inside and we now want we want now to call this to call this function addition and we need two variables and it will be and it, uh, these two variables needs to be integer we cannot use uh, float double or any other or string and we will uh, call addition and we will use variables x and y and now let's say it uh, we have variable uh, a will be x b will be y and as a, as a, as a result we will get message at addition of these two numbers and let's try to run this application okay enter numbers x and y x will be 8 y will be 5 and as a message we have the result is 13 and uh, this is this is a, a simple procedure now we can try again enter numbers x and y x will be 7 y will be 11 as a result we have the result is 18 of course we can we can do the same thing for 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 example subtraction i will not change the name i will just use i will just use uh, this name addition it doesn't matter but here uh, i just uh, i only change the sign and now you will see uh, x is 20 and y is 12 as a result we will have 8 because we changed the sign and now the result is a minus b this is a simple one procedure but we can this this result this is not any value this is just some text we can we can now we cannot use result to calculate something else this is a simple procedure addition we get the result of two numbers and we can cannot do any other 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 thing uh, with uh, this uh, procedure now to explain we also can use uh, let's create some other uh, some other procedure okay i can comment this now we can create definition it can be minimum or maximum we will use maximum also we will have a which will be an integer and b which will also be an integer it will be maximum of two numbers we will enter two numbers and as a result we will get but we will just print it will be a procedure and let's calculate it we will write if a is greater than b we will just print print a line uh, maximum equals and we will write maximum will be a and we will have else statement And we will print line if a is not greater than b and we will just write maximum equals to b and okay we can we can use 
uh, we can use this we can comment but we will just uh, we will just comment this calling of addition and now we will call we will call maximum procedure maximum from numbers variables x and y now let's save and we wait to build and now we can run our application enter numbers x and y we will type 23 and 15 as a response we will get maximum equals to 23 which is good now we can type again x equals to 6 y uh, equals to 10 as a result we will get maximum equals to 10 which means that this is our procedure to find uh, to print us the the larger number for, from from two numbers that we will enter and of course if we if we type same numbers it will be 11 and 11 maximum of course will be 11 because the numbers are the same and this is a procedure the, the we can we can just use to print something we can uh, we cannot do any other thing with that and i just want to show you one more type of procedure of course we can have we we will have a procedure greeting and it will be a which will be string and b which will be an integer and it will be equals and we will write print line some text hi uh, my name is and we will use variable name okay just a second and now we will use i I am and we need a variable it's my mistake here here will be a my mistake we, we are just using local variables and B years old okay this is this is uh, we will just print this uh, hi my name is okay a which is a string and I am and variable B years old and now okay now we can comment comment this let's create uh, print line let's create message enter your name uh, we need to we need to enter a variable we need the variable name and age and we will use them in this procedure greeting and variable name equals to input dot just a second I deleted also variable input and comment will start from here input dot next line because this is a string and another message will be enter your age and variable age 
will be equals to input dot next int. Okay, we have variable a uh, name and age, and now we will use we will call this procedure greeting. we will use variable name which is string we cannot use now if we want to use age and name it will not be possible because first we need variable a which is a string and variable b will be an integer and here it needs to be b very another variable need to be integer and first variable needs to be string and now let's uh, let's save it and let's run if we run it now we will have enter your name uh, it will be John and enter your enter your age 27 and as a response we have hi my name is John I'm 27 years old okay again we can try okay now it can be Jim enter your age 31 as a response we have hi my name is Jim I am 31 years old and this is this is the procedure okay as you can see we just using them when we want to print something and, and it can be very useful we will use them but we cannot use this for example we have this uh, addition okay we will return to a plus b when we get this result we cannot calculate uh, la later we it uh, this uh, this result serves only for printing we don't uh, uh, we don't do any uh, any more calculations with this procedure it serve it serves only for print like as you can see here we wanted a maximum of two numbers just to be printed and uh, we print if a is greater than b we print a if l uh, statement we print b and here also we just have procedure grading we have string and integer and we use we use a variable uh, variable name and age to print us this message hello hi my name is and variable a which is string which will be name and i am variable b which will be an integer years old we just use variable name and age and use in this function of reading to receive this message nothing complicated here i am pretty much sure that you will understand it i really hope that you like this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on twitter and instagram you have a link in the description and i will see you in next tutorial